Hello and welcome to the Critic Kudus. Today's video is a review for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Now the other day I woke up to something very very interesting. Kunami released a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! game. It's free to play, you can download it on the PlayStation, the Xbox and the Switch and it's rumoured to be coming to uh, the phones as well. Now. As far as I'm aware, this game was not advertised at all. I had personally no idea this was coming out, but a reaction of a few of the other Yu-Gi-Oh players and the community around, nobody had any idea this game was coming out at all. But it is out and it is here. Now this is a free to play game. There are currently just under 7,000 Yu-Gi-Oh cards um, available to players. Now that's not all of the cards. Every single card in the game is not in this version. However, that is a huge number of cards. And for anyone unfamiliar with Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, I'll be personally surprised, but this is a trading card game where you basically build up a deck to beat another opponent's deck. Now, this game in particular does have PvE and PvP. However, the PvE, the solo play, really strides to kind of teach you how to play the game. Apart from that, it's a bit meh. The real kind of interest here is that you get to build a deck and go one-on-one -on -one against someone else somewhere else in the world including Japanese Chinese people that have apparently had this game for a little bit longer uh, I personally my very first duel I came up against one of these players and they knew what they were doing very very well now I've played Yu-Gi-Oh an awful lot I've played Yu-Gi-Oh since I was a child I watched the anime I've collected the cards and I still play Yu-Gi-Oh today with my kids uh, it's kind of like a family game so when we found out that a brand new game had kind of dropped we were completely unaware of everyone was very very excited honestly they've done an absolutely great job this game looks really really nice there are a few customization options where you can change the card sleeves your board and mascot uh, and a few other little things which are add a nice little touch to help make it you know a bit more personalized to you it doesn't take too much time in game to actually get the uh, these little things and change them yourself or of course you can purchase them with gems and that leads me on to the next point this game does have in-game transit transactions and of course it does this is a free-to-play game um, there's a lot of micro transactions or the game gives you the ability to do lots of microtransactions. It is free to play and you can make a competitive deck using the free to play mechanics. I'm going to release another video, I think, a little bit later, just showing you how I personally managed to make a competitive deck um, without spending any real money and just using the gems that you can collect in the game. But the general idea is you complete certain tasks and missions, you will get um, and accumulate lots of gems and with them you can then buy your packs to create whichever deck your heart desires. Honestly, I think it works really, really well. Um, the only thing I have a slight problem with is that uh, one of the decks packs that you can buy is the Master Pack, which has just under 7,000 different types of cards in it. So good luck getting the one you want. I definitely wouldn't do um, that. That's going to be a free tip for you guys. Just don't pull cards from that pack. You know, there are better and easier ways to do it. I'm actually a little bit surprised that they've done it that way, knowing, you know, how people like to make up their decks and um, how at a disadvantage people who aren't interested in Yu-Gi-Oh, who are kind of maybe even uh, attempting Yu-Gi-Oh for the first time, how much of a disadvantage they are going to be at thinking that that's going to be the way that they're going to get their cards. So a little bit surprised uh, that that's happened. The game at the moment is very bare bones. There are only a couple of different modes. You have got the solo mode, which you go through um, 
different stages and unlocking different challenges, getting some decent rewards. And as you can see, there's quite a few decent um, packages here for you to go through. Each one of them will give you different cards or different crafting materials. There are also, uh, there is crafting in this game as well. So if there's certain cards that you want that you haven't been able to pull, you can actually straight up craft that card if you've got the materials to do so. I like that too. I think that's a really nice touch. And I think a lot of experienced Yu-Gi-Oh players are going to be using that method for actually building their decks. Interestingly, on the pro side, I noticed a few of the banned cards aren't necessarily banned in this game. Not sure what that's about, as they're not playing with the actual ban list, but it's interesting. And I think it's going to make a few of the decks that people are running very, very... Uh, not nice to play against, shall we say? And you're going to be running into these players in ranked mode. There is a PvP side, there's a multiplayer side. It is currently ranked, and as you collect wins, you will go up in tiers, facing increasingly harder opponents. At the moment, that's the only other mode in the game. So you've got the solo mode, and you've got the rank mode. It does look like the tournament modes are going to be coming in, and it does look like more modes are going to get added as the game's life cycle kind of continues. I think more packs, more Yu-Gi-Oh cards are going to be added as well. As I mentioned, not all cards are currently in a game, so it does leave room for extra DLCs, extra little expansions to be added. But at the moment, for me, the ranked mode, the PvP side, does have a major flaw. That major flaw is time. Now, I was extremely excited to play this game. I knew what I was doing. I made myself a very competitive deck straight off the bat. It only took me a couple of hours to do so, you know, to get the gems in order to do it in the free-to-play style. And then I came into the case of the game gives you too much time to think. Think. Um, now I understand that this is a very very complicated game. Complicated game. You're going to need that extra time to read all the cards. But trust me, when you're sitting there for an hour playing exactly the same game, just waiting for your opponent to take their turn. Now I'm not talking about it's going to take them an hour to take their turn, but they get a good amount of time every single phase. And there's a few different phases to every round. And it can take a long time for, for your opponent to take their turn. I think that needs to be addressed. I think it needs to be a little bit snappier, a little bit quicker. Um, for me personally, I've only had, say, 10 to 15 online duels. But most of them have been exactly the same. Where they've been extremely slow and tedious to get through. So that's a little bit of a shame. I was hoping for something a little bit faster. But the animations are very, very beautiful. I love when you when you summon someone like a blue eye, someone recognizable, someone of might, that the you know the game kind of cuts to a little cutscene. It shows you the the card art and it does it in a really nice way. So visually, honestly, this game is awesome. It only gets a 6.5 from me um, out of 10. I think that's a little bit generous. I think that it's lacking a little bit of content. Um, but I can see myself spending a lot of time that I probably shouldn't be within this game at the same time. Hopefully, in the next coming months, we do get start getting a few other things added. But that's it for me guys, this was just a quick little review, I kind of wanted to get my first reactions up of this game as quickly as possible. Uh, it took me a while to do unfortunately, so I think a few other people beat me to the punch. But if you're interested in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Master Duel, maybe you want to share your deck list or whatever, um, I have a Discord, have an active and growing Discord, the link will be in the description. If you feel like you want to join it and share your deck list with me. Be very interested to know what you guys are actually running because being an old school player i like to run the og cards a little bit and if you have made it to the end of the review a big thank you to you and don't forget to comment red banana down below just to confuse all those people new to the channel and if you've enjoyed this review don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel too and until next time guys i've been a monk with been chris and i'll see you in the next video real soon until then take it easy